The police officer said we can't be open because we're not essential. Waukesha police shut down the picky picky resale shop on grounds they're not essential, even though, as the owner says, they do carry a small line of groceries. Just, it just happened, you know, all of a sudden, so we're just trying to find out all the laws. Nobody seems to know exactly what's what's supposed to be happening. You know, everybody's kind of confused about all the new rules and regulations, so. Waukesha also shut down the Hobby Lobby there. The one in Brookfield is also closed. Menominee Falls Police shut down the Hobby Lobby there and also closed Joanne Fabrics. But the Joannes in Brookfield remains open. A sign on the door indicates they're essential because they sell items that could be used to make protective medical gear. Sporting goods retailer Dunham's is open in Brookfield. A sign on the door justifies it because the governor's order allowed businesses selling guns and ammunition to remain open. They asked us to close. Meanwhile, back at the Picky Picky shop, they're considering their options for an appeal. We understand that there's a lot of concern, uh, worry, fear, but we are one of the essentials. We're somebody who really wants to help the community. And they say the rules don't seem to favor small businesses like theirs because we're not a big business. So, you know, we're gonna fail. Walmart and them are gonna come out of this looking shiny. Well, Nick, you even found one store that was partially shut down by police. All right, Patrick, the Petco here in Germantown, it's allowed to stay open because under the governor's order, anybody selling pet food can remain open. But the Germantown police chief told me that they have a grooming salon in here for pets. And he said it didn't make a lot of sense for the pet grooming to be open when human hair can't be cut. All the hair salons have been shut down. So he had the grooming part shut down while the rest of the Petco remains open.